everybody, welcome to the first day of Vlognica. If you don't know, Vlognica is where I make eight videos over the eight days of Hanukkah. It's the Jewish version of Vlogmas, except do not expect any festive kind of content. I'm sorry. If that's what you want, watch Vlogmas. <laughs> if you are new, hello, I'm Hannah. I'm Jewish, but I'm not religious. And for the last three, four years, I have been doing Vlognica because it's only eight videos, not 24, and it's manageable, and it's a fun little project that I do at the end of every year, and we can see off the year in a bang. Also, Hanukkah changes every year in terms of when it is, so that's always a fun little challenge. But I wanted to start out this year's Vlognica with a video about clothes and fashion, and we are talking about comfy clothes to wear whilst working from home that still keep you motivated. I know, do they exist? Is it possible? Have we all just been wearing our pajamas all year and somehow still getting work done? But in winter, the working from home outfits are basically just various combinations of leggings and jumpers. In fact, that's what we're doing right now. This is a journey. <laughs> in terms of finding that balance between comfort and the world is on fire and I just want to feel like my clothes are giving me a warm hug, keeping me supported. Also, maybe you don't have time to like pull together an amazing, incredible, like well thought out, intentional outfit. But then how do we balance that with feeling like real human beings and feeling, ugh, I don't want to say productive, motivated, feeling like you're just like gonna have your best day, you're gonna do your best, you're gonna like try hard, have a good time, <laughs> do what you can, rather than feeling like the day is over when it begins. Now obviously there are tons of different ways to motivate yourself and you can go watch all of the productivity YouTubers for that, but in this video we're talking about our clothes and how what we wear can impact how we feel. I'm just gonna say it up front, this video is not gonna be an attack on loungewear. No, no, no. Loungewear is not the enemy, in my opinion. You might find that wearing loungewear just puts you in a certain frame of mind and you're like, nothing is gonna get done today. If that's you and if you know that about yourself, maybe avoid loungewear. However, I think for most of us, it's not that loungewear is the enemy, it's repetition. It's wearing the same thing every day. It makes every day feel monotonous. It has that Groundhog Day effect on you. If the only thing you're changing, and I hope that you are changing this, is your underwear. That feeling of every day being the same means that they all blend into one, everything feels really slow and sluggish, and that's where I think that it is hard to get motivated to do your job working from home or studying working from home, whatever it is that you need to do. This video instead is about adding some variety. How do we create variation in our loungewear and therefore in our mind? so we can do our best work. There is one thing that is the enemy though, and that is jeans. Jeans can fuck off. There have been a few days where I've worn jeans and I've been like, oh my goodness, I'm a put together human being. I am a functioning member of society. And then I sit down at my desk for several hours to try and do some work and I'm just in pain. And I can't concentrate on my work because all I can think about is the fact that I'm wearing a belt. The other thing that can fuck right off, and you might differ on this for me, and that's bras. And I mean real bras with underwire. Now I have massive tits. I talk about them a lot because they're very frustrating. <sighs> and I kind of flip flop between days that I'm wearing wired bras and days that I'm not wearing wired bras. And it just hurts. By the end of the day, I'm just in pain. I'm just not feeling good. Like, it's just distracting. And also, why am I doing it? <laughs> like, if I'm wearing loungewear, do my boobs need to be properly sculpted? Do they need to be looking all nice and perky? Or do they just need to be supported in a really soft, gentle net? Now, I can't wear no bra. 
If you can wear no bra and that's what you wanna do, go for it. Me, physically, that's not an option for me. How? Ever praise the bra gods. I have been getting on my bralette game. And yes, bralettes exist for people who have bigger chests. These have honestly been a game changer in my lockdown. So comfy. Don't have the like pain of the straps and the back like digging in by the end of the day, but my boobs still feel supported, still like feel like I put a bra on and so therefore it's like a working day. Like mentally for me, that's how it works. Like if I'm not wearing a bra, then it's like, oh, that's the weekend. <laughs> now this one might be controversial, but I'm also just gonna give a massive no to pajama bottoms. And you might be thinking, but Hannah, I'm working from home. Like I can wear anything on my bottom half. Like let me wear my pajamas, no. No, honestly, do what you want. But for me, the reason why I try and avoid wearing my pajama bottoms when I'm working, even though I can still do Zoom calls, even though I could still film videos, I just avoid the pajama bottom situation because of that mindset it puts me in. My pajama bottoms are for evenings, they are for weekends, and they are for when I'm ill. Okay, so those are the things that I'm saying fuck no to. Jeans, bras with wires, and pajama bottoms. But what is in? What are we saying yes to? Good question. So on your bottom half, your go-to, your friends, are leggings, are like comfy loungewear specific trousers. I don't own any of those and I'm like tempted to like find some. I just have leggings and one thing that will become clear from this video is that I have a huge variety in things that can go on my top half but my bottom half I don't have a huge variety in so do I need it though? I'm not sure. I mean this video is about how variety is good for your mind and motivation um, but also I don't need any more clothes. Another potentially controversial one and I don't fully know where I stand on this and that is tights. There have been a few days in lockdown where I've worn tights because I've been wearing a dress or a skirt. And I mean, they're kind of just as comfortable as leggings, but I know other people might have like real problems with tights. They might find them a lot more uncomfortable. I have a pair of gray woolly tights. So they're a bit more friendly to me than like your regular 40 dernier, dernier. <laughs> tights. And you know what, just saying all this out loud now with like the differentiations between your bottoms, your leggings, like whatever you're wearing. My partner just wears jeans and a t-shirt every single day and works from home. I honestly don't know how he does it, but like if that's you, like you don't need this video. <laughs> you don't need it. Just carry on wearing your jeans and your t-shirts. How? I don't understand. But speaking of tights, skirts, dresses. If you're someone who wears skirts and dresses, these can be great. Don't wear the restrictive kind. You know, they come in all sorts of different shapes, sizes and flavours. I have a few skirts and dresses that are super loose, elastic, they're the kind that you just kind of like throw on and they don't like tightly cling or anything. It's just as comfortable. It's like the full body dress, skirt, whatever equivalent of like leggings and a jumper. So I fully endorse you wearing dresses and skirts if that's what you wanna do. This for me is also really useful because it feels like I put on an outfit, especially if I'm like wearing a dress because I don't have many dresses that their purpose is loungewear. In my head, a dress is like a dress. I put on a dress. I'm going out and about. Oh, look at that shoulder, hello. Right, top halves. This is when it gets serious, so. We all have our favorite jumper, right? And we love just being able to wear that every day. Leggings are my favorite jumper every day. Comfort, homey, love it. Wearing the same jumper every day has like weekend vibes to me and it also has like Christmas holiday vibes to me. And that's not what we're aiming for <laughs> when we have a job to do when we have to sit at our desk and like be motivated to work. So my recommendation is not to not wear jumpers, but it's to rotate through your jumpers. What are you wearing underneath your jumper? I don't care, as long as it's not a bra. Dungarees 
kind of fit into a similar category as the dresses. Dungarees create the illusion of a full outfit. It's not an illusion, it is a full outfit, but without the shitty waistband. It's all one piece, all very comfortable. And then if you're wearing long dungarees, you don't necessarily have to wear tights. So then you don't even have like the elasticated waistband around your waist. It's just all like one piece. The only problem I've had with wearing dungarees at home is that just going to the toilet thing. I'm like, why have I made this difficult for myself when I'm at home? But other than that, for me, putting on dungarees feels like I'm properly getting ready for the day and it's comfy. Comfy, comfy, comfy. Some of you are gonna be like, what about active wear? Go for it. I find personally that the active wear that I have is quite tight leggings and whilst I enjoy working out in them, they're not always great for like wearing for an entire day. Top tip, use layers to your advantage. Maybe you've got like warm cardigans or like, I don't know, you've got a t-shirt on that like makes you feel put together but then you like top it off with something that makes you feel cozy and you can just like mix and match all those different things to make it feel like you actually put on an outfit. At the end of the day, if after all of this you just want to sit nude, if you want to just sit in your underwear and work, like honestly, go for it. The final tip that I wanted to mention is something that definitely works for me, but I don't always have the motivation necessarily to do it in the first place. But when I do, it definitely like makes me feel more awake, more human, more like, I don't know, business person Hannah, not like, well, I'm just gonna work from home and lay on the sofa, Hannah. And that is accessories. I don't know what kind of accessory person you are. I am a mostly earring gal and then sometimes necklaces. And I found that for the first few months of lockdown, I just like wasn't changing out my earrings. And normally I am somebody who meticulously matches my earrings to my outfits. And like, I have so many different earrings and I love changing them out every day. And I used to do that all the time. BC. I haven't changed them out today. We just got the same old stud and hoop in, but I did put a necklace on to make myself feel a bit more, I don't know, shazami. Like look at me in my leggings and my like hoodie, but then look, I've got a necklace on. So I actually made an effort, but yeah, I didn't at the beginning of lockdown. And more recently I've been like, oh, what earrings will I pair with this jumper? What necklace or earrings will I pair with this loungewear outfit. And that honestly has like hit a little switch. There's something about it that just like gives me a little boost of motivation because I'm just like, ooh, look, I did an outfit thing. Also my watch, I'm not wearing it today, but I have been going in and out of wearing a watch. I used to wear a watch every single day. And then in lockdown, no. And I don't know what it is mentally about like not wanting to wear a watch, but then when I do wear my watch, I feel a bit more like, oh, I don't know, like, oh, I'm wearing a watch today. Like, I don't know what it is, but there is definitely a mental shift when I do that. I don't know. And kind of related to accessories, makeup and hair can be another thing that kind of like shifts your mindset from the day to lazy weekend to working from home day. But that is entirely up to you. Different things work for different people. For me, unless I'm filming, don't wear makeup made a whole video about it. I really have not been wearing makeup or doing my hair in lockdown. Granted, when I do, it does make me feel more put together, but I just can't be bothered spending the time on it, in all honesty, <laughs> unless I'm gonna be on camera. Anyway, those are just some of my thoughts and my tips on creating comfy working from home outfits that still make you feel motivated and like you have your shit together. Cherry pick what you like from it, what works for you. I think the main takeaway is just recognizing what kind of clothes, what kind of accessories put you in a certain mindset and then try and either avoid that or do more of that depending on what the mindset is that you are after. And then also I just wanna say, do not feel guilty if you are wearing loungewear every single day, if you wear the same leggings every single day, like honestly, we're all doing our best. I think honestly for me, the comfort is priority number one and the having the shit together is number two. Yours might be different, 
but you know, you do you. But also, fuck off jeans, fuck off wired bras. Thank you for watching. Do share in the comments how you've been putting together outfits. Have you been going like all out? Because I know that some people have still in lockdown just been like pulling together still like incredible outfits, doing like full hair, full makeup, because that's what, you know, keeps them happy, keeps them motivated. Like, is that you or are you just like same jumper situation <laughs> every day? Um, and do you have any tips that have worked for you. I will see you for day two of Vlognica tomorrow. Bye.